Hello, and thanks for tuning in to the Turfway Park Report for Saturday, January 28th, 2017. Nine live races on the card. The poly track is fast temperature in the low 30 degrees. The first race is a maiden claiming event for the Philly three-year-olds. The claiming price is $7,500, and they'll go five and a half furlongs. Morning line favorite number five, She's a Cat Tail with Sonny Leone. And they're off. Good even beginning for all. Fast start for Dunkirk Survivor. Also quick and stride up from the outside comes Miss American Lion and through from the inside Freakin' Frozen. Between those two are both Another Stone and She's a Cattail and outpaced at the back of the pack early is Wild Sensation, but she's only about five lengths off the lead as they pass the half mile pole. So up front it's Dunkirk Survivor. Shows the way by about four. Another Stone races to the inside of Miss American Lion there in second and third. Freakin' Frozen is fourth, now being passed up to the outside by She's a Cattail. The favorite has moved into the fourth in the yellow silks only about five lengths off the lead through a first quarter in 22 in four fifth seconds at dunkirk survivor still shows them up top another stone is coming through on the inside of miss american lion and the favorite she's a cattail is going to switch into the four path as they straighten away for the stretch drive in dunkirk survivor so far as shoulder the load and dunkirk survivor has an eighth of a mile left to run and a two length lead miss american lion ranges up to the outside down the center she's a cattail the favorite is really coming at him and coming on now dunkirk survivor breathing fire she's a cattail lunging up as is miss american the lion they race down to the wire, a photo finish that went to either Miss American Lion or She's a Cattail. Running time for the opener 107 and 1. Originally crossed the line first, but was disqualified by the stewards for bearing out in the stretch with continuing left handed pressure. Bears out into the path of number five She's a Cattail and makes contact right before the wire. So the stewards disqualified number six. Miss American Lion and placed her second. The official order finished. The winner, number five, She's a Cattail, trained by Billy Helmbrick. Sonny Leone was the winning jockey. She's a Cattail, got kissed up and returned 440, 280, and 240. Second was the six, Miss American Lion, after the placing. Third, number two, Dunkirk Survivor. And fourth, number four, Another Stone. The exacto was worth $15.60. The try, $34.90. The Superfecta, $144.20. Running time for the opener, 107 and 1. Tonight's second race is a claimant event for the Phillies and Marriage, which have not won two races in the last six months. They'll go one mile. Morning line favorite at 8 to 5, number 4, Bella Menina for trainer Kim Hammond. And they're off. Millennium Star broke sharp. Sweets and Treats came out running. There goes Petticoat Lane and through from between horses. Wildcard hit Casket Model. Comes through along the rail. They stack up five across the track on another on the clubhouse turn. And the favorite, Bella Menina, has taken in hand to the back of the pack. She's last of the six, but about six lengths off the lead as their midpoint through the turn. So Casket Model, the ten-time winner, shows them up top. Pressure comes from Petticoat Lane. These two are three links in front of Wildcard Hit, who rides the rail in third. Right to her outside, Sweet and Treats drafts up nicely in fourth. Then a link for the back to Millennium Star. The favorite, Bella Menina, is on the move. She's out of last as she's up one spot as they race up the back stretch. Four and a half furlongs still to travel. So Casket Model shows them up top by about a length now. Petticoat Lane races in the second position. Separation of two. Wild card hit starting to tighten up. She's off the pace today, though. A half length in front of Sweets and Treats, who is fourth. Bella Menina races out in the five path while fifth. And then a length and a half back to the trailer, who is Millennium Star. Half mile timed out, 48 seconds flat. So it's Petticoat Lane overtakes Casket Model for the lead. Here's Sweets and Treats ranges up, and now it's go time. The favorite, Bella Menina, is on the move and up to contend the lead, and in fact goes on by the pace setter. So Bella Menina and Jack Gilligan will clear off outside the quarter pole, two in front. Sweets and Treats is going to get an inside position here as they reach the top of the home stretch, and Bella Menina, well in hand, turns them on down, four to the good. Sweets and Treats under a stiff drive. Wild card hit is running on from the back of the pack as they are well into the stretch now, and Bella Menina is gone. Bella Menina by the 16th pole in front by 6 now by 7. The battle simply for the balance between a wild card hit and sweets and treats because it's all over up top. Bella Menina throttled down to win by 7. Wild card hit was 2nd. Sweets and treats was 3rd and Millennium Star was 4th in 138 and 4. Number 4, the favorite Bella Menina was last early on but was given the cue midpoint through the turn and drew away. She won under wraps with her ears pricked for owner Whiteson, Martin, and Delbridge. Kim Hammond, the winning trainer, and Jack Gilligan was aboard this mare's fifth lifetime win. Bella Menina was worth 340, 220, and 210. 
Second number two, Wild Card Hit. Third number five, Sweets and Treats. Fourth number three, Millennium Star. The Daily Double was worth $9. The Exacta, $8.60. The $1 Try, $13.80. And the Super, $83.60. Running time for race two, one thirty-eight and 4 Tonight's third race is a claiming event for the Phillies and Mares. 8,000 down to 7 is the claiming tag. They'll go 6 furlongs. Scratch number 5, Red Hot Bull. Morning line favorite, number 6, Rule Like Cleopatra. Hammond and Gilligan look to take it for two in a row. They are off. Discreet Kiss has the most speed. Quick and distraught as well comes Thunderwit. Through from between horses is Prom Theme. Right up to her outside is a little complicated. There goes Desert Image. Punching up between runners and rule like Cleopatra is last of the six, but she's only two and a half lengths off the lead as they're very well bunched on the run down the back stretch. So outside the half mile pole, they start to sort themselves out just a touch now. Discreet kiss. Collar to the outside by Desert Image. Here comes rule like Cleopatra looking to tackle from third. She's breezing up well in hand and seem to be going very nicely as they make their entrance midpoint through the turn. It's discreet kiss. Now there's a desert image. Rule like Cleopatra stacks up three deep, running on from the back a little complicated. And prom theme out in the five path is uh, gaining good ground, but she's uh, way wide on the course as they reach the top of the home stretch. Discreet kiss cuts the corner, but rule like Cleopatra out in the four path goes right on by. So an eighth of a mile left for rule like Cleopatra, the heavy favorite, and she's opening up with the Authority in the stretch here. Rule like Cleopatra, the easiest of winners here as they race down toward the line. Rule like Cleopatra, another winner for Hammond and Gilligan. She wins it pulled up with her ears pricked by about four. Prom theme was second, a little complicated third. Discreet kiss was fourth in 110 and three. Number six, Rule like Cleopatra, another uh, dominating win here for trainer Kim Hammond and Jack Gilligan. Rule like Cleopatra won in a jog for the Willowbrook Stables and Jerry Carden. As the heavy favorite, she returns 320, 220, and 210. Second number two, prom theme. Third number three, a little complicated. And fourth to seven, discreet kiss. The exacta was 880. The try, 2740. The super, 4180. The daily double, 520. And the pick three, $9.60. Running time, a very fast, 110 and three. Tonight's fourth race, a claiming event for the Phillies and Mares. They'll go a mile and 16th. No program changes. Number six, Blush Be Gone. We'll get the nod here for trainer Brett Santangelo. And they're off. Awkward beginning for Blush Be Gone, but it's a fast start for Miss Twinkle Toes, who's being hustled on out. So Miss Twinkle Toes under the line will lead him by a length and a half onto the charge and to the clubhouse turn. Kim Strong away racing in the second position. The favorite moving parts has ducked in third. Citrus Miss is riding behind her in fourth, spun out three wide, Blush Be Gone. And at the back of the pack along the rail is Slazera. She's last of the sextet, but she's only about eight lengths off the lead. Miss Twinkle Toes, the long shot, was hard used to get to the lead, but by the six furlong long marker, she's trying to be throttled back there. The jack going to work on trying to throttle her speed back, and now he has, and she's only a half length in front of Kim Strong, who's charging up to the outside. Moving parts, and Rodney Prescott in the third position, about three lengths off of the leader. Then a separation of three lengths to Blush Be Gone, who's moved into fourth, a length in front of Citrus Miss, and Slazara still can't see them all. Up the backside they go. They're just outside the half-mile pole. Miss Twinkle Toes confronted to the outside by a headstrong Kim Strong. These two are now stride for stride. Moving parts set to strike from third. She's breezing up nicely in hand for Rodney and has now moved up into second as Miss Twinkle Toes starts to backpedal. Blush Be Gone is on the four wide side starting to close in. Following her as Citrus Miss is going to split horses there and still nothing yet from the lackadaisical slow Zara. Outside the quarter mile pole, Kim Strong being put to the test. Moving parts ranges up to her outside. Blush Be Gone is going to tip to the three path as Citrus Miss hugs the rail and Slazar is up one spot as Miss Twinkle Toes has called it a night. They straighten for the stretch run and the favorite Moving Parts has found the front. Moving parts inside the final furlong opening up by three. Blush Be Gone is running on for the minor award. It's all over up top. Moving parts and Rodney Prescott is going to win by almost three in the end. Moving parts for Stenson. Victorious. Bus Be Gone was second, tight for third. Slazera to the inside of Citrus Miss in 146 and four. Number five moving parts as the eight to five favorite gets it done here for owner trainer Billy Stinson. Rodney Prescott was aboard for the winning ride. Number five moving parts, 540, $3 and 240. Second number six, Bus Be Gone. Third number three, Citrus Miss. And fourth to four, Slazara. 
The Exacta $20.80, the Tri $45.90, the Daily Double $7.40, the Superfecta $151.20, and the Pick 3 $6.80. Running time for the fourth, $146 and four. Tonight's fifth race, a maiden claiming event. Maiden claiming $5,000 to go a mile. No program changes for this field of eight. And the morning line favorite, number seven, Boom Bosch with Jack Gilligan. They are off and bring on the money. Didn't break all that well, but it was a very fast start for Montovani from that eight path. Has worked his way all the way down to the rail and has the lead and the rail as they reach in the clubhouse turn. Now bring on the money has taken a hold against Victor Blanc and is running off and now, in fact, has cleared by a link from Montovani. Then a link for the back, TJ Jard came away racing in third, not for profit. And start number 29 is away in the fourth position, about four and a half off the leaders. And a link in front of Christopher Kay, who races towards the inside of the pair of Little Stroll and Boombosh. And last away early, Oakenshield is last, but only about seven lengths off the leader. And that leader is long shot, bring on the money. First quarter mile clicked off in 24 and to bring on the money. Shows him down the back stretch in front by two. Here's Montovani through from between horses in second. Right alongside, there goes Christopher K. And now Christopher K overtakes second from Montovani, who's back in third. Not for profits in fourth, a length in front of Little Stroll and starting to back pedal goes Oak and Shield. Half mile 48 and 4. So bring on the money. Tackle to the outside by Christopher K. Not for profit. Loops up in the three path. And it's Little Stroll is full of run and going to try to split horses and in fact gets on through as bring on the money has thrown out the parachute. So outside the quarter mile pole, Little Stroll is going to hug the rail on the far outside. Not for profit. And sandwiched in between those two is Christopher K as they straighten away for the money. And Little Stroll at 23 to 1 shows the way. But tackled and confronted by Not for profit, not for profit has gained the upper hand. Little Stroll is game and resilient to that one's inside. But in the final 16th of a mile, not for profit getting away here. Not for profit's going to break the maiden. And start number 29 is going to win it by almost three in the end. Little Stroll was second, tight for third between Oak and Shield, who rallied up to the outside of Christopher K in 141 and one. For the fifth time tonight, another favorite wins as number six, not for profit, rolls home here for owner trainer Aaron West. Alonzo Quinonas was up top for this maiden breaking performance. Number six, not for profit, as the favorite, 620, 360, and 280. Second long shot, number five, Little Stroll. Third, number four, Logan Shield, and fourth, number two, Christopher K. The Exacta, 6360. The Try, 24660. The double, $14. The super, $1,324.20. Pick three, $14.90. The pick four, $27.10. And the pick five, $31.20. Running to 141 and one. Tonight's sixth race, a maiden claim event for the three year old Phillies that go six and a half furlongs. Morning line favorite number four, Holiday Deja Vu with Gabe Lagunas. And they're off. Fast start for a Holiday Javu who came out firing. Lakeview Drive is being hustled up to contend the pace. Allie Grace came away racing in third. Queen of Corona off the gate in fourth, about four and a half lengths off the leader. Then a link for the back to Tiz taken back, and my favorite mistake is at the tail of affairs. Up the backside, they wheel seven lengths from tip to tail, and Holiday Javu shows the way by just a neck as Lakeview Drive has come through to the inside. Looping up on the three wide side, there goes Queen of Corona, and Allie Grace is being hustled along, trying to keep pace there, but uh, that hole is outrunning him as they head on to the far turn. So Holiday Javu shows the way. Queen of Corona goes right alongside there in second. And now Jack Gilligan has guided Allie Grace to the three path in third and they're coming at him and coming on and Lakeview Drive is being punched along to keep pace and starting to close in from the back of the pack both Ali Grace and my favorite mistake as they run to the top of the stretch it's Holiday Javu to the inside Queen of Corona in the middle on the three wide side Ali Grace is cut loose and coming at him and now overtakes the lead as Queen of Corona is wandering about and from the back of the pack my favorite mistake is closing in but too little too late as Ali Grace got first run and Ali Grace is going to the winner's circle Ali Grace to give Gilligan three on the card my favorite mistake was second tis taken back was third Queen of Corona was fourth Number two, Allie Grace rallies from off the pace to give jockey Jack Gilligan his third victory on the night. Allie Grace, a three-year-old daughter of Will Byrne, owned by Randall Davidson, trained by Marshall Gotze. Allie Grace returns $12.20, $6.20, $4. Second number five, 
my favorite mistake, third number three, tis taken back, and fourth to six, queen of Corona. The Exacto is worth $93. The Trifecta, $650. The Super, $2,066.40. The Daily Double, $82.40. And the Pick 3, $67.20. Running time, 118 and four fifth seconds. Tonight's seventh race is a claiming event for the Phillies and Mayors who have not won a race in the last six months. They'll go one mile. The claiming price is $5,000. No program changes. Morning line favorite, number three, Martha Rose with Julie Burke in the saddle. And they're off. Martha Rose, the favorite, wins the break, but Lil Miss Tioga is being asked to quicken, and Lil Miss Tioga will try to squeeze through that narrow opening there, and Lil Miss Tioga finds the lead as they race in the first turn. Martha Rose has been relegated to the second position. Mischief and Mayhem and the TR Hain Pink races third. Mega Sane is in the fourth position, about four and a half lengths off the lead, and a length and a half in front of Shaman Suave, who's two in front of both A More Impossible and Andy's on tour is last of the lot. First quarter mile, 24 and two. Lomas Tioga shows him up for the backstretch run in front by just about a length and a half now. Martha Rose, the even money favorite, tracks in the clear while in second. Mischief and Mayhem in a good stalking position in third, about four lengths off the leader. Towards her inside comes Mega Senna, then a separation of four to uh, Shame on Suave. And starting to run on now up the fence comes a more impossible half mile, 48 and four. So a controlled tempo for Lomas Tioga, who had those even splits and carries him to the far turn in front by about a length now. Martha Rose is being given the cue by Burke and trying to close in now is Mega Senna from the three wide side as a field outside the quarter mile pole. Little Miss Tioga shaken up by Mojica. There goes the favorite Martha Rose. Mega Senna and Pusak is coming at him and coming on and running on from the back. Shame on Suave is now up into a joint fourth with Andy's on tour as they run to the top of the stretch. And Martha Rose emerges with the lead. On the outside, Mega Senna is gaining good momentum and Mega Senna up to the outside of Martha Rose who's being put to the whip and responding for Burke. Martha Rose it's Mega Senna with one final surge in deep stretch. Martha Rose from Mega Senna. Martha Rose the even money favorite wins by a length. Mega Senna was second late on the scene. Shame on Suave was in a photo with Annie's on tour for the third spot, 140 and two. Number three, Martha Rose wins race seven for owner Tim Shorter and a trainer Sherman Wilkinson, Julie Burke with that rousing ride. Martha Rose, $4, 380 and 220. Second, number two, Mega Senna. Third, number six, Shame on Suave. And fourth to seven, Annie's on tour. The exacto was thirty-nine twenty. The try fifty-two sixty. The daily double one hundred five dollars forty cents. The super two hundred sixteen sixty, and the pick three ninety-five dollars and fifty cents. Running time one forty and two. Tonight's eighth race is a maiden special weight for the maiden Philly three-year-olds. will go five and a half furlongs. No program changes. All the early money coming in on number five, Travel Wish, a first-time starter from the barn of Ignacio Correas. They are off. It's no lack of talent who broke well. Quick and stride from between horses. There goes first-time starter Travel Wish. Lady Arya came away racing in third position. Personal Cat is fourth. A length in front of the gray, Delightful Diamond, who is fifth. And a separation of two and a half to Maxwell's Paradise. And way out at the back of the pack, the three to two favorite, Honey's Tail is last, has 15 lengths to find. It's no lack of talent who carries him the far turn through open quarter of 22 and 3. No lack of talent shows the way. Here's first time starter Travel Wish who bids up to the outside. Now Lady Arya has been given the cue there in third. Four lengths further back to Delightful Diamond who is in fourth as the field uh, runs to the top of the stretch. It's no lack of talent. Been there every step of the way. Travel Wish attacking to the outside. Here's Lady Arya gearing it up on the stand side as they straighten away for the money. No lack of talent tackled by Travel Wish. And here's Lady Arya who just went right on by. Honey's Tail from absolutely last is full of run in deep stretch. It's Lady Arya just from Honey's Tail who's running on late, but Lady Arya will win it by almost two in the end. Honey's Tail was second, Travel Wish third, tight for fourth in 105 and two. Number six, Lady Arya stalks the pace setters and kicked wide for the drive and came home the winner to break the maiden today for Julian Lopez Martinez. The trainer was Alejandro Gonzalez and the jockey was Alejandro Contreras. Number six, Lady Arya, seven dollars, three dollars, two forty. Second, the one, Honey's Tail. Third, number five, Travel Wish, and fourth, the four, Personal Cat. 
Exacta 2420, the Tri, $61, the Super, $307 even, Daily Double, $20.40, and the Pick 3, $121.90. Running time, 105 and 2 fifths seconds. Ninth and final race, a maiden special weight for the three-year-old boys to go one mile, scratch the two Cowboy Quinn. Morning line favorite, number nine, Prince Hansen for trainer Mike Maker. And they are off. It's Fighting Joe Wheeler who's hustled on out. Harang came away racing in the second spot. Hey Ned off the gate in third, up to the outside. CJ's Mister is fourth. Prince Hansen away in fifth, a length in front of Sightline, who came away racing in sixth. Ghost is be here, settles along nicely in the seventh, and then two lengths further back. Fantastic Kit in his last of eight. Strung outfield here, they're about 20 lengths from top to bottom. And up the backside, it's Hey Net. Hey Net leads him through a first quarter in 23 and two fifth seconds. Hey Net on that long lead shows his heels to the field, is playing catch me if you can. Hey Ned up top by five. CJ's Mister to the inside of Prince Hansen. They are second and third. And three lengths in front of Harang. The favorite starts to close in early now in fourth. Fighting Joe Wheeler is moonwalking in fifth. Four lengths in front of Sightline as they continue the run up the back stretch. And they approach the far turn. It's Hey Ned who so far has shouldered the load. Here's Prince Hansen ranging up to the outside in second. CJ's Mister on the move in third. Harang being given the cue by Julie Burke. A tip to the four path as they're outside the quarter mile pole. And Prince Hansen emerges with the lead. Hey Net being punched along. Here comes CJ's mister, and up to the outside, it's Harang. Harang, the favorite, has moved into third. Is going to have to go about five wide, though, as the field reaches the top of the home stretch, and Prince Hansen cuts the corner. Harang's the danger up to the outside. These two square off with that eighth of a mile to go. Prince Hansen being put to the whip. Harang trying to kick on by. Long way further back to CJ's mister, and everybody else in the final furlong. Prince Hansen trying to hold from Harang as they pass the 16th pole. Prince Hansen, Harang with one final surge, and you can put a ring around Prince Hansen. He wins it by about a nose. Harang was second. Gustus B here was third. Fighting Joe Wheeler was fourth. Prince Hansen wins on the stretch out here. Breaks maiden for owner Kendall Hansen. Trainer Mike Maker and Alvin Jimenez was up top for the winning ride. Prince Hansen, $9.24, $3.40. Second number three, Harang. Third number seven, Ghostus B here. Fourth number one, Fighting Joe Wheeler. And fifth, the eight, CJ's Mister. The exact $30.60. The try, $209.80. Superfecta, $1,384. The late double, $29.20. The pick three, $97. The pick four, $965. And 40 cents. No winners in the super high five carry over until Wednesday's, Wednesday's card, better than $430. Well, folks, that wraps it up for this week of racing here from Florence, Kentucky. Live racing returns Wednesday with a first post of 615. From all of us here at Turfway, thanks for tuning in. This has been the Turfway Park Report. <laughs>